Hey guys, welcome to Hallowed Groundling. I hope you're having a really great end of your summer. It's August 31st, so tomorrow's September. I love it. I'm so excited the fall's coming. <laughs> uh, I love the fall. It's my favorite time of year. So, And of course, that means Halloween's coming. And uh, I have a, a friend with me right now. This is uh, my cat, Finn, one of my three cats. Hello, Finn. Say hi. There's Finn. <laughs> um, so the reason I'm doing a video is I just received Box of Dread. Uh, this is my first Box of Dread in three months. I think I haven't done one for you guys since May because that was the, the very first one that I did. Um, they've had a really bad backlog problem at Box of Dread. Uh, apparently they had some problems with distributors and they had some other issues so they weren't really um, yeah, they weren't. They were very far behind, and uh, the box finally came in for the past three months, and they actually gave me this past month free uh, for the next one that's coming out because it was just taking far too long. So, the box of dread, it's here. Um, it's it feels like it's stuffed. So I'm really excited to show it to you guys and do an unboxing. Um, I know that Kane Hodder was one of the people that was involved with this one, and I I know that there were some. Um, he had done a lot of stuff, and I think some of the distribution issues was with some of the things for his box that they were supposed to do. I don't know. But it did come in, and uh, I'm really excited to kind of reveal everything for you guys. So let's dig right in, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to go you know, like this. Okay, so let's see. I'll pull out the very first thing. Oh, okay. It's a mug for Coke. K.O. Okla. This is something I'm not, I probably have to look this up. This sounds like something maybe I should know, but don't know what it's from. Okla, K-O-K-L-A, Red River Rock and Roll Stretch. Is that something I'm supposed to know? I'm going to look that up real quick because that just sounds like something I might, like I should probably know what that is. Let's see. Let's look this, let's, let's use Google and figure this out. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm really excited to get in, uh, get this in because, you know, like I haven't, I haven't had one in so, so long. Oh, it's from Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. Okay. I, it sound, I was like, it sounds familiar, but I don't entirely remember it. Um, yeah, from the second, from, so from the second movie with Dennis Hopper. Um, I like that movie okay. I mean, I, the first one is definitely um, my favorite out of the series. But two is much more silly and, and, and fun, but oh, so neat. It's a mug for, for the rock and roll radio station from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Okay, so next thing here, what do we have? Oh my God. Oh my God, it's a mad ball. Remember these? For kids from the 80s, remember Mad Balls? It's a leather face one. Oh, he's so cute. Not really, but cute. Look at him. Oh, neat. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, looks like we have some posters. Oh, it looks like some cane, maybe a cane hotter one. Let's check it out. Let's see. Oh. How cool. So they made this documentary called To Helen Back about Kane Hodder. Um, he's been through a lot. He's he was, you know, he's been a stunt man for many years. And uh, he, he got a he has like a third degree burn. And actually when you meet him, you can kind of see it under his neck. You can see where he's been scarred. Um, he's such a sweetheart though. What a nice, nice, nice guy. So friendly, loves his fans, like super, super cool. I I love meeting I love meeting him. He was just great. That's pretty cool. I like that poster. Um, so we have another poster in here too. Let's see what this one is. Oh, it looks like it's for Maniac. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, Maniac versus the New York Ripper. Can you guys see that? That's pretty neat. That's a cool little poster. Looks like for a uh, comic though, for the comic. Neat. Oh, it's like, it's like a mashup. That's pretty cool. Oh, I like that. I'll have to check out that comic. All right, let's see. Oh, it's a little, looks like a little alien. Oh, I kind of have to open it, open it. It's a little alien versus predator. Um, 
my boo will like this. He loves Alien, so this is a little, a little, he loves Predator too. Actually, I love Predator and Alien as well, but his favorite, he loves Alien, is like one of his absolute favorite movies, so. Oh, it's like, oh it's, oh, it's one of the Titans vinyl figures. Okay, now I'm seeing it. Oh, how cute. Oh, 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 how neat. It's Bishop. <laughs> Actually, it was just announced that Lance Hendrickson is coming to Rhode Island Comic Con in November, so we're, we're excited about that. Uh, Bill and I are going to go meet him because we love we love him. So pretty cool. That's Bishop. Very neat. Okay, we got a little Bishop, which which Bill will love very much. Okay, uh, here we go. Oh, okay. This is it's called Director's Cut. What is this? Oh, oh, this is the Penn Jillette movie. Oh my God, okay, yep. Um, yeah, I, I've heard about this, but I have not seen it. Oh, this sounds like fun. Gilbert Godfrey's in it. Yeah, pretty cool. Very nice, okay. Oh my God, oh wow, the documentary is actually in there. To Helen Back, the, the one that I was just talking about. That's so cool. Oh, that's a lot of fun. I can't wait to watch this. I'm, I've been so excited to see this. I can't wait to see it. Awesome. Oh, that's great. What a, what a good addition. And what, oh, well, I actually own this on uh, digital and I, oh my God, I love this series. I love, well, the two that they've made so far. Um, if you have not seen these movies you have to see them so I did get this digitally when it came out because I was dying to see it but it's great to have the blu-ray it's terrifier ah, I'm so excited um, so if you're not if you don't know this is a, so okay they made a movie called um, All Hallows Eve and it was a vignette movie actually I almost added it but I think I want to do a piece about clowns and I want to I want to do one about so it's probably gonna be a couple of movies about clowns like adding little things in and, and I'll do something about it. But I also wanted to cover, so All Hallows Eve is the first movie they made, I'll go there. And it was, um, it's basically three short stories and they're all tied together by this clown character and his name's Art. And he's in each one in different ways, each little story. And I, I, I actually got the movie, um, I got the DVD from Netflix and I wasn't expecting much from it. I was kind of like, oh, I don't know what this is gonna be. But I ended up loving it. I thought it was really great. You can watch it, like it's on YouTube and stuff too. And it's really great. And you could tell that the person who made it was a definite like big horror fan. And I actually, when I was watching, I'm like, oh my God, they totally stole that from this. And they totally stole that from this. And because I liked the movie so much, I watched it with the commentary afterwards. And Damien Leone, who uh, wrote and directed the movie, he actually, he, he made no, he said, I stole that from this. I stole that from this. And I thought that was really funny because he was like, you know, he's not, he just admitted it, you know, which was wonderful. And it's a great, really great movie. And Art is such a creepy character, just so creepy. And this is the second, this is the next movie. And it's not a vignette movie. It's actually just about Art and Art terrorizing these girls. And uh, it's done really well. They had a new uh, actor play Art the Clown. Uh, David Howard Thornton plays Art. And I actually um, friended him on Instagram and on Facebook. He's a wonderful, like, looks like a super cool guy. He's, uh, he's super political and like can't stand Trump, which I love about him. <laughs> and he's just, uh, you know, he's, he's just wonderful. And I, I really like him a lot. And he's, he's got a very rubbery face and he, he, his Art the Clown is just, it'll be in your nightmares forever after you see it. If you have not seen Terrifier, you have to see it. And if you have not seen All Hallows Eve, you have to see that too. So I'm really excited to have the Blu-ray copy of this too. So that's really neat. Oh, this, well, I have to say, uh, they did make up for the fact that, you know, we've been off for three months. They did give quite a bit of swag and a lot of really cool stuff. Three movies is awesome. And I love the, the little man ball. Look at, look at him, look at him. Oh, he's upside down, you can see. And, uh, and of course the mug that's so neat and our little bishop too and of course the posters so this is like really cool I love this good job box of dread you did a, you did a nice job uh, redeeming the last few months of not having anything so thank you um, so tonight I'm going to be releasing the second part in the series for uh, my nightmare on Elm Street during um, Dream Master number four, uh, Dream Child number five, and Freddy's Dead the Final Nightmare six. So you'll be getting that podcast tonight as soon as I upload it. 
and uh, what else do we have going on? I'm sure we have some other things going on. And I'll, I'll be doing the, the last part of the series, obviously, next week. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys are doing really well. Enjoy the very last bit of summer and Labor Day weekend. Stay spooky. Bye.